Hey guys, so I'm sorry I haven't spoken to you all in quite some time. I did comment on my videos and say, oh yeah, I've got a red review coming soon, don't worry about it guys, and then it just didn't happen. The story behind that is that I recorded one where my hair was probably red, which it isn't at the moment. I'll go into that in a minute. I recorded it, I tried to edit it, and whenever I viewed the video in my camera software or VLC player or media player, it froze up my whole computer or my whole laptop and I had to restart. So I couldn't upload that because it doesn't work. So that's why that hasn't been up. So this is this is that review. But that's not Okay. I've got a different colour in now. So the dye I'm gonna be reviewing is Poppy Red by Larice Directions. And what I'm wearing at the moment is Poppy Red mixed in with Larice Directions. So the Poppy Red was really nice, the colour was really it was never this dark, it was always a light red kind of orangey sort of tones to it when the light hits it. It was very, very pretty. But it didn't last very long and it faded very pink very quickly and ended up almost like candy floss. Which is nice if you're looking for red that's going to go pink, not red that's going to be red. So because I knew it went pink, I knew it didn't last that long, I thought I'll mix some of my, my rose red in. Which, if anyone's watched my review, you know it's very, very pink. Uh, very, very dark. So that's, there you go. Also smells pretty gross. So I literally took there's this, this yeah, you can see how much is missing from there. I got like a teaspoonful of that, put it in with a pot of a pot of the poppy red, and I mix it all together in my little, my little mixy bowl. Oh, I've got it on me now. There you go, a little. I haven't cleaned it out yet. Don't know why it's gone green. It's gone like gold. The red kind of goes well, but yeah, you can't see what colour it was when I dyed it. There you go. Let's put it back on the floor. Um, with the hopes that when it went pink it would stay pink for longer and be darker to begin with. So this is what it's come out as. It looks quite light on my webcam, which is good, because normally you can't see my colour as well. It looks a lot more pink on my webcam than it looks in the mirror. At the moment I'm going to call it like a cherry red. doesn't look on the webcam, I know, but there is a huge window. Like All of that is a window, so we're getting a lot of light. It's actually a lot more red and less pink, but it'll probably go pinker, so I'm going to go with a cherry red at the moment, the colour I created. But that's not what I'm reviewing for you, I'm going off on tangents, because that's uh, what I am good at. So as I've sort of discussed, the fade time isn't great, the fade colour is quite nice. When you're dyeing it, some dyes like rose red stain, everything refuse to leave, I've had to like dry, when I have a shower I have to dry my bath with a towel in case it stains, because it does. Uh, <coughs> Poppy around the other hand doesn't stain. It rinses out and you get red everywhere, but it doesn't stain the thing, you can just wipe it off. You know, if it stains like the grout from the tiles, you can just get a nail varnish remover and a cotton bud and get rid of it. So it doesn't stain things, which is nice. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it, really. I mean, I've done, you know, the fade colour, the original colour. Oh, I haven't got many pictures of it, which is unfortunate, because I haven't had my camera on me until recently. I've only got probably a couple of pictures, but I'll show you the pictures I do have. I'll put them in the video and you can see for yourself. I should have some before and after. And you'll be able to see for yourself what it was like fade-wise. So if you do want a red that's going to go pink, then Poppy Red's probably... So my voice is going. <laughs> Poppy Red's probably a really good cho choice to make. It fades pink nicely. It's not like a horrible colour. If you want a red that's going to be red, it's not the dye for you. But I've never found a semi-permanent red that stayed red before for me. Because they're semis and they fade, so they're going to fade something. So... If you are looking for one that fades pink, then it's a good idea. And what, I mean, I've only had, this is only my second, third day, I think, with my mixture of sort of homemade dye in here. <coughs> Frizzy bits. Yeah. Uh, but it looks a lot nicer. So I've made a cherry red by mixing a little bit of rose red in with a tub of poppy red. So if that's what you're looking for, then this is a really good way to get it. So good luck with if you're trying to get red hair, if you want a pink red hair, you know, give Poppy Red a go, it's a lovely dye. If you have had any experience, then I'm going to say only with semi-permanent reds, because permanent reds are all kind of the same, you know, XXL is the most common one. If you know any semis that stay red, then feel free to let me know, you know, video response, comment, message me if you do. If you don't want to leave a comment where everyone can see it, because you're thinking, oh, this is a really stupid question, everyone's going to you know, think I'm an idiot then feel free to message me. I won't think you're an idiot, don't worry about it. Everyone's got to start somewhere, and if you don't know, you have to ask. Or Google it. 
if Google hasn't got the answer, feel free to ask me. <laughs> I enjoy when you guys message me, so that's always nice. So if you have any questions or any anything you want to add to it, any experiences you want to share, message, comment, or whatever you want to do, feel free to let me know and I'll be happy to receive them. If this video was <clears throat> helpful or you liked it for some strange reason, you weirdos, then you know, obviously go ahead and like it and comment and whatever. If you didn't like it, feel free to dislike it. But please let me know why. So, you know, maybe oh I I don't know, I just don't like don't like you very much, sorry. <laughs> okay. Don't like your hair very much, sorry. Shouldn't be looking on this channel, but okay, you know. Or I just didn't find it helpful. Criticism's always good and I can make them better from that. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time.